Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up pre-roll when recording. I'm doing this in Pro Tools, and this is a great feature when overdubbing tracks. Let's check it out. This video is about setting up pre-roll for recording. So pre-roll while recording could come in very handy. You can have the track play back a little bit before you actually start recording, so this way you can get the feel and the timing of that track down so you don't you know mess up your recording so to get to this what you want to have open is the transport window so go to the window drop down menu and then transport or it's command one on a numerical keypad okay so once you have the transport window open you'll see pre-roll right there now all you got to do is click it to enable it but you don't see anything from it you know there's really no uh, pre-roll so what you want to do is just change the amount a little bit just click in here and drag up and as you can see the little yellow flag is there so you can adjust the amount the amount of pre-roll like that or you can just go on to that little flag with the little hand the grabber and you could drag it around and place it exactly where you want it so, you know, the higher your grid value, the more precise you can lay down this pre-roll flag. So, all right, I want to have the pre-roll at the beginning of the track. And then with the red marker here, that's where I'm actually going to start recording on bar two. Okay, so I'll show you right now. I'm going to record some drums over this little rhythm. Alright, so as you can see, the track did not start to record until it reached the red marker, the timeline marker there. And I'll show you, I'll try to, I'll make some noise before that marker just to show you it's not going to record. So as you can see, nothing recorded there. And you could even see on the transport window when you do it that record blinks and then when it hits that marker right here the red marker then record is enabled so i'll show you just watch the transport window all right let's throw some snares in there Okay, you get the idea, and this is great because you can do this anywhere in your song, you know, that you need to maybe overdub a quick part or something like that. Or, like for instance here, I want, let's just say, I want this rhythm to play out and then the drums come in. So, you know, it'll allow me to have the feel of that rhythm before I actually start recording those drums. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at Winksound.com.